Every two years, tens of thousands of people descend onto South Australia's Copper Coast to celebrate the world's largest Cornish festival, the Kernewick Loenda, meaning Cornish happiness. The quirky seven-day event enlivens the region with the people of Kadena, Moonta and Wallaroo donning traditional costumes and performing traditional Cornish pastimes. Although normally topped with tomato sauce, the iconic Cornish pasty is also a source of competition, with many trying their hand to make the best in the region. The Kernewick Luenda celebrates how the people of Cornwall from Britain's southwest coast settled in the Copper Coast region of York Peninsula in the 1800s. In 2013, the Kernewick Luenda celebrates its 40th anniversary and organisers look to the festival. The original festival in 1973 had a helping hand from the former South Australian Premier Don Dunstan. There was a delegation of businessmen that came to him from the uh, York Peninsula and things were pretty bad at that time and so he came up with the idea of a Cornish cultural festival and gave them a small grant, $1,000 and uh, it was amazing, apparently 20,000 people turned up and it was way beyond anybody's expectations and it's been a tradition ever since. That tradition has also turned into a much needed money spinner for the region. A 2011 survey found the average person spends $195 at the festival. With at least 30,000 people estimated to have attended this year, that's close to a $6 million injection for the local economy. That we were able to get um, the area alive through cultural tourism and that's gone on. People have upgraded the facilities. Um, we've got our town halls that have done, been done up and restored because the festival's used every two years. Um, there is that modernisation. And as people gathered to celebrate the times of old, there's talk about further protecting the region's heritage. We've actually sought um, World Heritage listing for the Cornish mining site here in the uh, Copper Coast. Uh, it'll be a transnational listing because there are other Cornish settlements around the world and so the national government is promoting that and we're cooperating with uh, the UK government around this. And while the physical sites have already been protected under state heritage laws, the festival provides a way of keeping Cornish culture alive like music and dance as well as other more physical arts such as Cornish wrestling which has been on the verge of extinction. It's a festival to ensure the past isn't forgotten and passed on to future generations. In this corner of Britain, things sound a little different. Uh, Rob Lawrence and his family speak their mother tongue. I was born Cornish, I'll die Cornish. It, it fades from my veins, it's, it's, it's everything to me. It's who I am and it's my essence. And that means speaking Cornish too. Five hours drive from London, you'll find sandy beaches, medieval ruins, those famous pasties, and a resurgence in Cornish pride. The road signs look almost unreadable. The flags are black and white. The chat in the cafes is different too. Van Vollas in a copy price archaeological mechanic. In where? In post -usius. People have been speaking Cornish or uh, the precursor to Cornish in this peninsula for thousands and thousands of years. And now a new generation is learning the language. It's not regularly taught in schools, but these kids learn in volunteer run workshops. The words are pretty tricky. Some are easy, but then most of them are quite hard. Tell me how to say hello in Cornish. Difta. And difta. And goodbye? Zawales. There is another one which is a little bit longer. Okay. Digenes. So there's lots of different options. Mm. Right now, the number of fluent Cornish speakers here is really only in the hundreds, but the movement to restore a key piece of Cornwall's heritage is gathering pace. The Cornish are now considered a national minority in Europe. They're part of Britain, but definitely not English. For some, the Cornish pride is hard to contain. And your favourite Cornish term or phrase or word? 
Kerno Bishvicken, Cornwall forever. In Cornwall, Hewitt fell, seven years. Hello, Kerno in the city. All right, Ari. Now, I bet I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how does Toronto compare to the mighty Kerno? Well, here, let me tell you. It does have a bloody gate tower. They have got an outdoor theater, but seen this, have we? Some of the men are impressive, but not as impressive as this. Got a very pretty island with a lovely view back to the city. But you've got to get on a bloody ferry to get there. If you didn't like St Ives, all you've got to do is walk through the car park. St Lawrence Market is impressive, but you can't get a decent pasty anywhere. And don't even think about hunting for a wool fleecy. You aren't going to find it. Nothing beats pool market. It does have a very nice sign, but we all know this is the best sign. Well, I hope you have a great night up that London. I wish you a very happy St. Parents Day and I'll leave you with this message from the Toronto Cornish Association. Cheerio now! Three. Cool,
as I get or no. A ninja go thil. Mirel, Mirel, hor a gan history. A gan gan is agath, will you say can't fear in it? Skians, crept your anger. Clewin, Clewin, ner a gan tear a mor. Ner a duel a gan kemeneth, on an hagal. Mirin, worth an balores, ninju maru. Quith an tear. Ni u tir amor, a palores o kerno on me, biu on me, ganzawen in an tredon, cleo in guth a kerno, kevren in guth a kerno, disqued in guth, ken in guth a vos kerno, guth a vos kerno, an injus guth i. Small. 